Okay, we're now going to look at exercise three on your sheet, which is on the second sheet here. And we're going to practice what you've just learnt with the infinitive, sorry, the irregular verbs. Okay, so you are going to translate into French using the verbs that you have got in this table. Okay, and there are a few bits of extra vocab. And if you look in your booklet, if you look at page 14, exercise 3a, or in your core knowledge, a lot of the vocabulary is there that you will need. Okay, so in the future, I will be an architect. Okay, so in the future, hopefully you know what that is, um, l'avenir, I will be. Now, what verb is that? Be is, to be is être, but remember you need the um, special stem, which is ser. So it's going to be je, ser, and your AI ending, je serai, that means I will be, an architect. Now, you need to remember in French that you don't say an when you are saying a job, that you are a certain job or you do a certain job. You simply miss that out. Okay, so you're just going to write architect without the word for and. Okay, right, if you've got that well done, let's look at number two. I will go to university. So you need to find the verb to go in your um, table and the verb to go your stem will be IR so j'irai okay that means I will go j'irai à l'université and to say in you use this preposition à à Newcastle J'irai à l'université à Newcastle. I will go to university in Newcastle. Number three, I will have lots of children. Find the verb to have. Find its stem, which is or. Add your subject pronoun. J'aurai. What's the word for lots of? Think of buckets of. Beaucoup. And it's spelt the same as the first, the, the start of the word beautiful. So that will help you remember it. Beaucoup. And it's always followed by de. Beaucoup de. Now, the word for children is like infants. So it's enfant. So you can't have two E's together. We've met that before. So you're going to put an apostrophe to show that missing E. J'aurai beaucoup d'enfants. Okay? Right, number four. I will do an apprenticeship. So again, find the verb to do. <coughs> faire. But the special uh, stem is faire. So je ferai un apprentissage, which is a little bit similar to the English, isn't it? Apprentissage. Oh, I forgot the R. There you go. I thought that didn't look quite right. Now, number five, I will buy a big car. I'm quite sure why I put that on there, but anyway, we'll do it now as it's on there. Um, oh no, I will want to buy. That's why it's there. Okay, so you're going to use the stem for uh, vouloir, which is voudre, plus your AI, I will want, je voudrais. Now this is going to, this verb, it's a conjugated verb. So what sort of verb follows a conjugated verb? A verb in the infinitive. Well done, if you got that. So the verb to buy is acheter. So what's going to be the ending to that, to make sure it shows it's an infinitive? It's going to be ER, isn't it? Je voudrais acheter. And the word for car is voiture. Um, now, big is an adjective, and we know that adjectives normally go after the noun, but it's one of those irregular adjectives, and it's going to go in front here, just for a change. And it's going to agree, because Voiture is feminine, so you need to have an E to show that um, the noun it's describing is feminine. So the adjective and the noun agree. Une grande voiture. There you go. Well done.